Welcome in, guys. So I have an update. Last night I posted this uh, video on a story about there was a, Channel 7 was doing a documentary. It was on Scientology. It was set to go to air. There was 10 episodes and the day it was meant to air, they pulled it. Um, but I've since found out from this amazing commu community that uh, on the Tony Ortega website, uh, the episodes were leaked um, and placed on that website, but have since been removed. So the documentary was meant to come out in 2020. So let's see, I want to show you guys the story of what happened with the videos. Um, so I have a few screens that I want to share with you today. So just takes a moment to switch uh, screens. So this is going to be, this is uh, Tony Ortega, Dot org. Okay, so Scientology, Scientology Black Ops. So this was uh, the name of the documentary. So many of you guys might already know this story, um, but I didn't. And because I did the story last night about the documentary being pulled, I thought I should update. <clears throat> so Ozzy's bow to Tommy Davis, but he can't kill dirt file story. So on this website, all of the 10 episodes were there. Um, and the transcripts as well. Now, the transcripts are still there and I will show you in a moment, but let's see what happened. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Yesterday, we received a letter from attorney, attorneys for Seven News asking us to take down the Scientology Black Ops series. Seven News had spent months putting together Brian Seymour's 10-part investigation of Scientology only to cancel it at the last minute before it was scheduled to premiere. So they first postponed it by five days and then completely pulled it on the day it was meant to go to air. Two of the people who were filmed for the series, Leah Remini and Mike Rinder, told us they believed that the series was killed through the influence of actor Tom Cruise and former Scientology spokesman Tommy Davis who both take a beating in the program. Remini and Winter told us they believed that Davis and Cruz persuaded their friend James Packer, an Australian billionaire who was in Scientology from 2001 to 2006 and is still friendly with Davis, to lean on his close friend, Seven News chairman, Kerry Stokes, to get the series axed. Uh, I don't know if any of this is true. <laughs> But this is what uh, Leah and Mike Rindo have said. However, beginning on August 31, we revealed the, that episodes of Scientology Black Ops were being leaked to the internet. Eventually, all seven, uh, sorry, <laughs> eventually all 10 episodes were leaked online. Um, then, a week ago, we received a letter from Australian attorneys at Pike and Vericus representing Tommy Davis who wanted us to turn over information about the series and to pull down episodes two and four, which Tommy claimed were defamatory. We published the letter, sorry, we published the letter and did nothing. But now we've received a letter from Anderson's representing Seven News. So this looks like a copy of the letter from the lawyer, <clears throat> which said, D says, Seven Network, we act for the Seven Network Australia, which you are presumably aware is one of Australia's leading free-to-air television networks, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, they don't have a good reputation. Our client is aware that you have been leaked a copy of its series titled Scientology Black Ops, which is currently being published by you on your website, blah, blah, blah. Our client has not provided any authority for you or anyone, in fact, to publish the series which comprises its valuable intellectual property, including copyright. Seven's inquiries are continuing as to how and by whom the series was provided to you, <clears throat> but confirms that without our client's specific authority, publication of the series continu continues to be a serious infringement of its intellectual property rights, Moreover, you should be aware that Seven has received complaints by persons featured in the series threatening to sue for defamation. I mean, defamation. If the story is true, it's not defamation. As publisher of the series 
on your website, you would be liable for claims for such parties. Accordingly, we require you to cease publication of the series immediately, blah, blah, blah. As a result of this letter, we wanted to tell our readers about the two things we've decided to do about it. First, we are removing our embedded links to the videos. We don't think they are defamatory of Tommy Davis. We think they're the truth and they're backed up by sworn court testimony. <laughs> However, we're one dude with a laptop in New York and we don't have the resources to take on a court fight in Australia over videos we did not produce. Second, we're reminding our readers that after Seven News killed the series, but before the episodes began leaking, it looked like the public might never get to see this excellent series. Leah Remini was very unhappy about that. She had been filmed for the series, as had we, so she knew that Brian Seymour was going to reveal Tommy Davis's dirt file on legendary publicist Pat Kingsley and his attempt to get Paul Haggis's SAG AFTRA confidential file by pressuring a former Guild employee who was a Scientologist. Leah revealed to us that she had written about these things for a chapter of her book, Troublemaker, that was never published. So prompted by Seven News trying to suppress the material, she turned over to us that unpublished chapter. And after talking to her and editing the material, we posted it, which I'll show you in a moment. <clears throat> Tommy Davis may not like episodes two and four of Scientology Black Ops, which tell that story of his underhanded work for the church in order to blackmail Pat Kingsley and dig up dirt on Paul Haggis. But the same story was already posted here, thanks to Leah Remini, and there's nothing Tommy can do about it. So, while we're sure you're disappointed that the video segments of Seymour's excellent series will no longer be available at the underground bunker, we hope you keep in mind that the material that made Tommy angry, real angry, <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's still told in full. Okay, so I'll just show you some of those um, as well. So I need to share my screen again. Um, so Leah's basically sent some of her unpublished um, parts of her book and um, so we can see it here exclusive the real Tom Cruise Leah Remini exposes Scientology's biggest asset <clears throat> um, so this week Leah revealed to us that when she was preparing the book, she wrote most of a chapter about her per personal experiences with Tom Cruise and his camp and with revealing details about Tom Cruise behind closed doors. She portrayed the, the Cruise a public never gets to see, his dedication not only to Scientology but to its ruthless and ruthlessness and inhumanity. She told us that the pages weren't included in what was published saying that although the publisher felt it was worth printing, there were concerns that it would take over the media's focus on the book and would overshadow her reasons for writing it. Leah didn't want her book to be focused on Tom Cruise, blah, blah, blah. Um, so she says, it, um, I think it's time for people to start waking up to the real facts here. Tom has for years manipulated his image to be the good guy. And although I believe there was a time when Tom was a decent and kind-hearted person, he has morphed himself into David Miscavige and is completely dedicated to Scientology's mission to clear planet Earth. Um, Tom has for years used Scientology and its staff to do his dirty work. Tom has used Scientology and its thugs in suits like Tommy Davis, to break up with his former Scientologist girlfriend. He used Tommy, Tommy's ex-wife, Jessica, to give his girlfriend sex advice. Uh, this is so weird and gross. Like, who the hell does this? Okay. Davis has used confident, confidential Scientology counselling confessions. So she's talking about Tommy Davis here. 
uh, he used confidential Scientology counselling confessions to break up two Scientologists so Tom could date one of them. <laughs> Use confidential Scientology counselling sessions to bring a wedge between Tom and his wife, Nicole, because Nicole didn't want to do Scientology anymore. And David Miscavige, through Marty Rothburn, got rid of Nicole to get, to get Tom closer to Scientology. Tom has for years used his church to torture his employees by, standing, sorry, by sending them in for interrogations at their expense, causing a woman I know to go bankrupt simply because the hours she worked for Tom made it impossible for her to raise her family. She was interrogated and punished by her church for years. That's a church? Causing her to lose her home. These are some of the things Tom uh, has done but never get talked about, and I think it's time to change that. So that the, then I'm not going to go through all of it, um, but this is what Leah wrote about the specific stories that she learnt about and specific people. Um, there was uh, Tom Cruise's publicist. So the public publicist here was Pat Kingsley. Uh, and I'll just show you briefly this story. So Tom, Tommy Davis, was involved in this story. So Pat Kingsley protected Tom Cruise from the media. She was a pioneer in her industry, the person who brokered her alias clients, blah, 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 blah. Um, with Nicole gone, Pat was the last vestige in Tom's world that wasn't Scientology, and now Miscavige would use L. Ron Hubbard policy to get Tom the freedom he needed to advance the church. <laughs> Tommy Davis had taken it upon himself to run the operation after insisting that Tom fire Kingsley. Tommy had a folder of intel that he had collected of Pat Kingsley's entire history. There were copies of financial records and other sensitive information and photographs revealing private details of her life that Davis felt could be damaging to her if there was any backlash to Cruz after he fired her. He called it a dirt file. Guys, this is Scientology. This is what they do. I, this is what OSA does. That's why it matters. That's why it matters that Emily Armstrong is, is now the singer of Linkin Park, her mum being one of these uh, OSA operatives. I mean, the things that I've done have been a lot worse than this as well. Um, but in essence, it was blackmail. And in Scientology's written policy to fair game anyone who the church sees as a threat, Miscavige was prepared to destroy Pat with this evidence should she ever speak the truth about Cruz. We know this because Tommy boasted about the dirt file and showed its contents, contents to one of Tom's trusted employees, Shauna Brakefield. Yeah, so interesting stuff. So I'll just quickly show you the episodes. Um, and so we can see um, on the website um, all of the episodes and what was in them, what the topics were, and it actually still has all of the transcripts in there. So... Um, so this was looks like episode one. I'll just I'll just show you briefly. So it starts with Brian Seymour heading to Sydney Airport to jump on a plane to go to, to the United States to do another story in Scientology. I never imagined I'd be doing stories on this group thirteen years after the first one, but then I never imagined what I discover about this group and just the lives they've destroyed and that they're still destroying today. That's why I'm doing this. Someone said to me, when are you going to stop obsessing or doing stories in Scientology? And I said, you know what? I'll stop when they stop abusing people. And this is exactly what we're all doing. We'll stop when they stop the abuses. I hope this is, if not the last story I do on them, the one that triggers the end of this group. Yep. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah, you can see all the transcripts. You can see who was in there, who was interviewed. Um, like this one was on Paul Haggis and it's got his, I believe these are his daughters, Lauren and Alyssa Haggis, etc. So that's that. You can actually go into every episode and see all of that. The fact that we can still see the transcripts, the people who were interviewed and what was talked about is quite good. Um, it looks like a lot of it was to do with um, revealing things about Tom Cruise and the and the whole dirty file from and blackmail from Tommy Davis and just how uh, dirty <laughs> Scientology is when it wants to be. Um, so that was it. I just wanted to update you that on the story that I did last night about the documentary being pulled from air and that we can still go out and find the details. And now we've fi found out quite a bit of what happened behind the scenes. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Um, please like, uh, subscribe and uh, share the information. If you think that someone would mind find it helpful, please leave a comment if you have any further information. It's really helpful, this community has a lot of information to share. Um, thanks guys, take care.